We are glad to have you back on the Huge Experiment channel. Jesus appears in Gaza and 200 Muslims convert recently in Gaza. The sacred land of God's power is being torn apart by conflict. What remains here is only faith and hope in God. In response to that, God has performed a miraculous wonder to stir the souls and renew faith. What has happened in Gaza? What is the action of God like? Before starting, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Smash that thumbs up button and press the bell to dive deeper into this. Let's learn more about it. In the heart of Gaza, where war and despair envelop lives, a miracle has occurred that echoes with God's grace. Over 200 Muslims have reported encountering Jesus, a clear sign of his presence and transformative power. Before we delve into this miracle's testimony, we must understand the context in which it occurred. Gaza, a region ravaged by war, has witnessed and continues to witness unimaginable suffering. The entire population of Gaza lives under siege. Trapped amidst the city's ruins with no chance of escape to safer areas, amidst this chaos, a group of Muslim men burdened by pain and loss found an unexpected refuge in the Word of God shared by faithful servants of Christ. These men, many of whom had lost their children in the conflict, were nourished, clothed, and cared for by Christian ministers operating in Gaza. Professor Michael Lona, a servant of Christ and president of Risen Jesus Inc., has received reports from Christian ministers in Palestine about miraculous conversions. Hundreds of Muslims have embraced the Christian faith in these dire times, seemingly spurred by a prodigious event. These men, oppressed by the pain of war and having lost children, found hope yet in the midst of their suffering, the Lord acted. During the reading of the Bible and the sharing of Jesus' message of peace, a great miracle occurred. Jesus appeared to more than 200 of them in their dreams. These men, living in a context of great suffering and violence, found comfort and solace in Jesus' appearance. And following this miraculous event, they were healed. They decided to convert to Christianity, an extraordinary event that surpasses rationality. A shared appearance by hundreds of men, an event that might seem inexplicable, yet testifies to our Lord's presence in places where human suffering and violence are strongest. Jesus gave strength and courage to those who had lost everything, brothers, sisters, relatives, and children. This is not the first time the Lord has used his servant, Professor Lona, to lead people to Christ. Lona, author of books such as The Case for the Resurrection of Jesus and Paul Meets Muhammad, has been instrumental in the conversion journey of Nabal Keshi, formerly a Muslim and now a fervent defender of the Christian faith. Lona's work has touched thousands of lives, bringing historical evidence of the Christian faith that has transformed many hearts. This miracle in Gaza should be celebrated by all Christians worldwide. It is a clear sign that God is working even in the darkest places, bringing hope and salvation. As we celebrate these conversions, we cannot overlook the challenges our Christian brothers and sisters are facing in Gaza. We as Christians cannot remain indifferent and in our own way. Hope and ask that Israel evacuates Christians and send civilians to safer areas. At this moment, Christians in Gaza are trapped in churches, running out of food, water, and medical supplies. It's a dire situation with Palestinian Christians forced to live amidst the violence of war. Despite the hardships, these believers remain steadfast in their faith, witnesses to the saving power of Christ, even in the darkest circumstances. Believe it or not, Jesus is fulfilling his prophecy of reaching unreachable places through dreams. The simultaneous dream appearance of Jesus to hundreds of Muslims, however, is a significant sign of hope, a reminder that even in times of great trial, God does not abandon his children. It should also be a warning to all those who perpetrate this barbaric violence that spares not even the children. Did you know Muslims and Jews share a family tree? Way back. Both religions trace their roots back to Abraham. His son Ishmael, through Hagar, is considered the father of the Muslim people. This means even though there have been disagreements throughout history, and some extremists hold hatred, Muslims and Jews are kind of like cousins. Talking about Jesus, Muslims respect him as a very important prophet, but they view him differently than Christians. They see him as the son of Mary and Joseph, but not as the son of God or the savior figure Christians believe. Here's another interesting point. Muslims believe Jesus will return someday at the end of times. However, their view of his return differs from the Christian perspective. In their belief, Jesus won't establish a Christian kingdom. Instead, they will. They believe he will actually reject the idea of being God's son himself. This, according to them, will unite all believers in one God and bring about peace on earth. 
all religions that believe in one God, including Muslims and Christians, would then live together peacefully following their own faith. Now that you understand the connection between Muslims and Jews and their unique view of Jesus, it is fascinating that many Muslims have dreams about Jesus. What are the reasons behind these dreams? We will go through some incredible stories of Muslims whose lives were transformed by encountering Jesus in their dreams. There are two main reasons why this is happening. First, because of the harsh reality faced by those who convert to Christianity in some Muslim-majority countries. These brave individuals risk losing everything, their families, their possessions, and even their freedom. The fear of persecution is real and intense. The second reason is rooted in Muslim beliefs. They place a high value on dreams, viewing them as potential messages from God. Since there's less worldly noise while sleeping, they believe it's a clear chance for divine communication. This emphasis on dreams aligns with some Christian beliefs, as the Bible also showcases God speaking through dreams. However, Muslims tend to take this concept much more seriously. We're about to explore incredible stories of Muslims who encountered Jesus in their dreams and how those experiences radically changed their lives. It's a journey of faith and revelation that will leave you speechless. The first case involves Jesus appearing to an Islamic extremist, Karim al who wasn't your average man, raised in the heart of a fervent Islamic community. Jihad was his destiny from a young age. The Quran was his guide, war tactic, his passion, his ultimate dream. He was an ultra-conservative preacher who sought to convert Christians to the religion of Muhammad. His dream was to go to war, to fight in the name of Allah and be able to kill Jews and Christians, conquering victory for Islam. But fate, it seemed, had other plans. Just when Karim was primed for battle, his orders were abruptly revoked. No war, no glory. Dejected and confused, he felt abandoned by God himself. He channeled his fervor into preaching, aiming to convert Christians to Islam. The deeper he delved into his studies, the more often Jesus' name surfaced. Confusion gnawed at him, his rigid beliefs slowly unraveling. One restless night, Kareem poured his heart out to the heavens. Where are you, God? He cried. Show yourself. Reveal the truth. Exhausted, he drifted off to sleep. In his dreams, a relentless chase unfolded. Thorny branches whipped at him as menacing figures pursued him down a seemingly endless road. D despair threatened to engulf him when, at the very end, a hand reached out, a beacon of hope in the darkness. Startled awake, a face lingered in his memory, a face radiates warmth and peace. It was Jesus. The dream, vivid and undeniable, left him shaken. Was it a hallucination? Desperate for answers, he prayed again, this time for a confirmation and confirm it did. The same dream with every intricate detail played out before him once more. Yet doubt lingered. How could this be? He challenged the dream, the image of Jesus demanding a definitive answer. The following night, the answer arrived. Jesus, with eyes full of compassion, looked at him and spoke, his voice echoing in the dream. Did I not tell you it's your time to follow me? This was the turning point. The dreams, the persistent presence of Jesus shattered the walls Kareem had built around his beliefs. He embarked on a fervent quest to understand who Jesus truly was. He embraced Christianity through baptism, a transformation that reshaped not just his worldview, but his very soul. His journey wasn't without challenges. Persian ostracized him from his former community, but his newfound faith provided solace. He discovered love, a truth he hadn't known before. The fire that once fueled his extremism now fueled his passion for sharing his story. He became a powerful voice, a testament to the transformative power of faith, urging others to embrace the path of Christ. Kareem al the former extremist, became a beacon of hope, living proof that even the most hardened hearts can find redemption. The second impressive case involves Jesus converting Iranians. Kareem's story wasn't an isolated incident. That across the border in Iran, a similar phenomenon was unfolding. Pastor Lazarus Yar, a man dedicated to supporting underground churches within the Islamic Republic, shared a fascinating trend on CBN's Faithwire program. Dozens, he testified, were encountering Jesus in their dreams. These weren't fleeting visions. Pastor Lazarus described them as profoundly real, leaving a lasting impact. But the dreams followed a recurring pattern. For a man in white robes, a cross adorning his shoulder or heart, uttering the same message, I am Jesus. The impact on these individuals was undeniable. They'd awaken trembling, bathed in sweat, forever changed by the encounter. Unfortunately, such experiences often led to persecution. Iran, with its strict adherence to Islam, considers Christianity a threat. Public practice can lead to a brutal fate hanging. 
Pastor Lazarus shared this grim reality, highlighting the dangers these converts faced. Yet, even amidst hardship, there was a glimmer of hope he revealed. Another startling statistic. Over 90% of ex-Muslims he'd encountered in other countries attributed their conversion to dreams of Jesus. These weren't isolated incidents. A powerful pattern was emerging. The impact of Pastor Lazarus's ministry was undeniable. Since its inception in 1991, over 100,000 Muslims had converted to Christianity, many citing transformative dreams. This number painted a remarkable picture, a quiet movement fueled by faith, flourishing even in the face of immense risk. Karim and the countless Iranians encountering Jesus in their dreams became testaments to the transformative power of faith. Their stories defied expectations, showcasing how a divine encounter could shake even the most bleakly entrenched beliefs. The third remarkable case in the heart of the war-torn Gaza Strip, amidst the rumble of conflict and the despair of a people caught in the crossfire, a remarkable event unfolded. This wasn't a story of bomb and bloodshed, but of hope blooming in the most unexpected place through dreams. The year was 2023. Tensions between Israel and Hamas were rising. The Palestinian group controlling Gaza remained high. The Palestinian people, predominantly Muslim, had endured immense hardship due to the ongoing conflict. It was during this tumultuous time that a group of Christians, led by Pastor Michael Lona, a professor of theology at the University of Houston and head of the Rise Jesus Ministry, arrived in Gaza. Their mission wasn't to fight, but to offer solace. They provided humanitarian aid, food, clothing, and most importantly, a message of hope rooted in the gospel of Christ. They worked tirelessly with Palestinian parents who had suffered the unimaginable loss of their children in the war. One evening, after ensuring these families' safety and basic needs were met, the missionaries began reading passages from the Bible. Words of love, compassion, and the promise of salvation through Jesus resonated in the air. Little did they know this act of faith would ignite a chain of events that would leave them struck. As hearts swelled with emotion and eyes brimmed with tears of joy, the power of love and faith enveloped all who were present. The whispers of hope and the assurance of redemption echoed through the halls, touching each soul in a profound way. It was a moment of divine connection, a glimpse into the infinite possibilities that lay ahead for those who believed. The message of salvation through Jesus spread like wildfire, igniting a spark of hope in the hearts of the weary and downtrodden. People from all walks of life gathered together, united in their shared faith and unwavering devotion to a higher power. The words spoken were not just words, they were a beacon of light in a world shrouded in darkness, the reminder that there was always hope, always a way forward as the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months. The impact of that fateful day continued to reverberate through the lives of all who had been touched by its message. Acts of kindness, compassion, and love became commonplace as people sought to embody the teachings of Jesus in their everyday lives. The ripple effect of that act of faith was felt far and wide, transcending borders and boundaries to reach even the most remote corners of the earth. Through the power of love and faith, lives were transformed, hearts were healed, and souls were saved. The promise of salvation had been fulfilled, not through grand gestures or miracles, but through the simple act of believing in something greater than oneself. And as the echoes of that moment faded into the distance, it left behind a legacy of hope and inspiration that would endure for generations to come. Words may have been the catalyst, but it was the unwavering faith and boundless love of those who believed that truly set the world on fire. And as they stood united, hand in hand, hearts intertwined, they knew that they were part of something greater than themselves. They were part of a movement, a revolution of love and light that would shine bright for all eternity. Pastor Michael, describing the experience with a sense of wonder, called it a supernatural move of God. That very night, a miracle unfolded. Over 200 Muslims in Gaza, many of whom had witnessed the missionaries' kindness, experienced a profound encounter in their dreams. They dreamt of a figure radiating love and peace, Jesus. The next morning, a sense of urgency replaced the despair that had lingered for so long. One by one, the Palestinians who had dreamt of Jesus sought out the missionaries. Their eyes held a newfound curiosity, their hearts yearning for more. They recounted their dreams, filled with awe, and expressed a deep desire to learn more about Jesus and how to follow him. This mass conversion wasn't a forced choice, but a stirring within their souls. The message of hope they received, both through the missionary actions and their dreams, resonated with a profound longing for peace and solace. The news of this event spread like wildfire, sparking a wave of excitement and controversy. While some saw it as a divine intervention, others dismissed it as mere coincidence. 
Regardless of interpretation, one thing was undeniable. A shift had taken place. The story of the 200 dreams in Gaza is a powerful testament to the transformative power of faith. It transcends geographical boundaries, political turmoil, and even deeply held religious beliefs. It underscores the universal human yearning for something greater, the search for meaning, and the hope for a brighter future. This event stands as a beacon of light, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, the flame of faith can ignite unexpected miracles, offering hope where it's needed most. Sometimes, we see people of other faiths, like Muslims, and think they're different or even bad. But that's just not right. Just like us, they're all God's creation. And God can open their eyes to the truth about Jesus, just like he did for us. Sometimes we see people of other faiths, like Muslims, and think they're different or even bad. But that's just not right. Just like us, they're all God's creation. And God can open their eyes to the truth about Jesus, just like he did for us. It's essential to remember that people of different religions are not inherently evil or wrong. Simply because they believe differently than we do, while there may be differences in our beliefs, it is crucial to approach these differences with an open mind and heart. The diversity of faiths and beliefs in the world is a beautiful tapestry of human experience in understanding each religion. It offers its followers a unique perspective on life morality, and by appreciating and respecting these differences, we can foster a more inclusive and harmonious society where all individuals are valued for their contributions and perspectives. When we encounter individuals of different faiths, it is essential to engage in dialogue and exchange ideas respectfully. By seeking to understand their beliefs and practices, we can cultivate empathy and compassion towards others. Through these interactions, we may discover common values and aspirations that unite us as fellow human beings, transcending the boundaries of religion. It is important to recognize that ultimately, we are all on a journey of spiritual discovery and growth. While our paths may diverge, we are all seeking meaning, purpose, and connection in our lives. By acknowledging the humanity and dignity of all individuals, regardless of their faith traditions, we can build bridges of understanding and unity that enrich our shared experience. In a world marked by division and conflict, it is more crucial than ever to embrace the inherent worth and dignity of every person, regardless of their religious beliefs. By celebrating our diversity and promoting a culture of respect and understanding, we can create a more inclusive and peaceful world for future generations to inherit. Let us strive to see the humanity in each other, recognizing that we are all interconnected in our shared humanity. So next time you're talking to God, think about these folks. Maybe pray for God to give them a special dream or vision, or even connect them with a missionary sharing Jesus' message in their part of the world. It's important to remember those who may be struggling or facing challenges that we may not be aware of. A simple prayer or moment of reflection for their well-being can go a long way in making a positive impact or positive impact in their lives. As we go about our daily lives, it's easy to get caught up in our own problems and concerns, but taking the time to think of others and lift them up in prayer can bring comfort and hope to those in need. Whether it's a stranger halfway across the world or a neighbor next door, our thoughts and prayers have the power to make a difference. God works in mysterious ways and by sending a special dream or vision to someone in need, He can provide guidance, comfort, and reassurance in times of trouble. By praying for these individuals, we are not only showing compassion and empathy, but also opening the door for God's grace and miracles to touch their lives. Additionally, connecting them with a missionary who shares Jesus' message can be a powerful way to spread love and faith in their community. These missionaries dedicate their lives to bringing hope and light to those who may have never encountered the gospel before. By supporting their work through prayer and financial assistance, we can help make a lasting impact in the lives of those who are searching for Jesus. Spiritual Guidance So the next time you bow your head in prayer, remember to lift up those who may be in need of a special touch from God. Your prayer could be the beacon of hope that leads them to brighter days and a deeper connection with the divine. Let's spread love, kindness, and hope to all corners of the world, one prayer at a time. These missionaries are incredible. They've left behind so much to spread the word about Jesus' love. Let's pray for their safety, especially in places where their faith might not be welcome. It's important to remember the power of prayer and to send positive thoughts and well wishes to those who may be facing challenges or hardships in their lives. In many parts of the world, religious freedom is not guaranteed and individuals may face persecution or discrimination for their beliefs. By coming together in prayer, we can offer support and comfort to those in need, knowing that our thoughts and intentions can make a difference in their lives. Your prayer has been a source of strength and solace for millions of people throughout history. 
providing a sense of peace and serenity in times of trouble. Whether it's through individual meditation or communal worship, the act of prayer can help to connect us to something greater than ourselves and offer hope in the face of adversity. By lifting up our prayers for those who may be facing challenges due to their faith, we can demonstrate our solidarity and compassion for others, showing that we stand with them in their time of need. In some parts of the world, individuals may face persecution or discrimination simply because of their religious beliefs. This can lead to a sense of isolation and fear, making it difficult for them to openly practice their faith or express their spirituality by praying for their safety and well-being. We can offer a sense of support and encouragement, reminding them that they are not alone in their struggles. Our prayers can serve as a beacon of light in the darkness, providing hope and comfort to those who may be feeling lost or overwhelmed. As we offer our prayers for the safety of those facing challenges due to their faith, it's important to also take action to support them in practical ways. This can involve advocating for religious freedom and tolerance in our communities, speaking out against discrimination and injustice, and offering assistance to those in need. By combining our prayers with concrete actions, we can work to create a more inclusive and compassionate world, where all individuals are free to express their beliefs without fear of reprisal. In the face of adversity, prayer can be a powerful tool for healing and transformation, guiding us towards a greater sense of peace and understanding. By coming together in prayer for the safety of those facing challenges due to their faith, we can cultivate a sense of empathy and solidarity, bridging the divides that separate us and building a more compassionate and inclusive society. Let us continue to lift up our prayers for those in need, knowing that our thoughts and intentions can make a difference in their lives and in the world around us. Here's the coolest part. Jesus himself has appeared in dreams to people from all walks of life, even Muslims. This is a powerful sign that his return might be closer than we think. So as we contemplate these events, let us remember to pray. Pray for those who have encountered Christ in their dreams that they may grow in faith and find peace in the Lord. Pray for the Christians and civilians in Gaza that they may find safety and relief. Amen. And pray for a peaceful resolution of conflicts, that the light of Christ may continue to shine even in the darkest circumstances. Our hearts go out to the Christians and civilians in Gaza as we pray for their safety and well-being amidst the ongoing conflicts and turmoil in the region. It is during these challenging times that our faith and prayers are needed the most to provide comfort and solace to those who are suffering and in need of protection. We lift our voices in prayer for a peaceful resolution to the conflicts that plague Gaza so that the light of Christ may continue to shine even in the darkest of circumstances. May the power of prayer and faith unite U.S. in solidarity, bringing hope and healing to those who are experiencing fear and uncertainty as we come together in prayer. Let us remember the strength and resilience of the human spirit and the power of faith to overcome adversity. May our prayers serve as a beacon of light in the midst of darkness, guiding and protecting those who are most vulnerable in times of crisis. Let us hold on to hope and trust in the Lord's mercy and grace, believing that through our prayers and faith, we can make a difference in the lives of those who are suffering. May God's peace and comfort be with the people of Gaza, and may they find safety, relief, and a path to reconciliation and peace. Amen.